Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we get to take a look at the 2024 BMW 330i xDrive. This model is finished off in black sapphire metallic and with all the options, MSRP is just over $56,000. So we have a very sporty three series to go over and we'll start off with what this is powered by, which is the two liter inline four cylinder twin power turbo engine. It is paired to the eight speed automatic and it pumps out 255 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque. That power sent through the X-Drive all-wheel drive system, propelling this 3,700-pound sedan from zero to 60 in 5.4 seconds. Now, as we take a look at the exterior styling, you'll notice there's a lot of gloss black accents. It's on the kidney grill. There's also the active grill shutters just behind that, which will open. All of the lights are LED, including the inner housing having that dark look to it, so it matches very nicely. There's parking sensors located throughout, a lot more cutouts in the lower section, as well as all of the curved edges, and then nice lines that come down the hood. Now this model also has gloss black for these wheels, and this has the red M Sport brake calipers. There's power folding side mirrors, which have the turn signal, sunroof up top, all of the window trim is blacked out as well. And then in back, there's the gloss black spoiler, backup camera with all of the parking sensors, dual exhaust, some fins, and that diffuser there. It is missing a few options for the options that it is equipped with, but still has a great look to it. Now when we open up the trunk lid, there's a little bit of storage on both sides. No storage underneath the floor, but you can fold down the back seat, so pull on those tabs. That will give you a lot more interior space, just depending on what you need. And then as we work our way to the back seats, this does have the proximity sensor, so you can unlock it from the back, which is nice. Great look to the door panel. There's all the brushed aluminum, interior lighting, Harman Kardon, storage is located down below. And then that black leather works its way into these back seats here, where there's vents along with some climate adjustments, some auxiliaries. There's also the armrest with two cup holders. And then you do have the middle seat that folds by itself. Now at five foot 10, I have about a half inch or so of headroom. So it's doable for the smaller size that this three series is. And then we have the memory seating controls, all the window adjustments, trunk release, more storage down below. And then only one manual adjustment for these seats. Everything else is automatic. And when we start this up, we have the leather steering wheel with more brushed aluminum accents. It's on the paddle shifters too. There's cruise control settings. This is a heated steering wheel. And then there's volume tuning, Bluetooth adjustments, and the button right in the middle will further go through the information in the gauge cluster here. So you can take a look at all of this content, just depending on what you'd like to see. You can even adjust the layout if you would like. And then the last one is for the head up display. So you can go through all of that information as needed. There's all of your headlight adjustments along with one air vent. And then for the infotainment system, we can go through all of this where we have the home screen here. And you can go through all of this information where you have all of these widgets. So you can swipe through all of this. You can add information as needed. You can even go through the rest of these icons here like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You have your climate adjustments. All of it is laid out very well and there's more shortcuts on this left side to further get through that. Climate is also right in the middle, so you can get into that, heated seats, temperature dials as well. There's a trim accent underneath that with two air vents, power and volume and tuning. This is also equipped with wireless charging. There's cup holders and auxiliaries in there. And then you can use these controls to further go through that system. So you don't have to use it as a touchscreen system, which is nice to see. Now if we put this into reverse, it just has the backup camera and the sensors. And then there's drive and sport mode, and then park is located on the back. Now there's traction control along with your parking sensors, your engine start stop. And then there's a few different driving modes depending on the throttle input that you would like. There's auto hold and the e-brake, little bit of storage with some auxiliaries. There's also storage in the glove box and then garage door buttons up top along with the adjustments for that sunshade and the sunroof. And then here's a look at visibility over both shoulders. Very easy to see. So you really don't have any blind spots. And so from second gear sport mode, here we go. And like I said earlier, very smooth, 
very quick for that mild acceleration. So there's a lot more potential with this vehicle as far as the power goes. But this is what it's like to be behind the wheel for the 330i. And as far as the different driving modes go, let's go ahead and put it into eco mode where you still can utilize the paddle shifters here, which I think is nice, but it definitely is going to delay your throttle response. Shifts still seem pretty quick, which is nice to see, but just depending on how you're driving this for the day, you do have those performance characteristics that you can change, but there's nothing as far as the suspension or exhaust or anything like that, like some of the other higher three series trim levels go. But this is a really nice place to be. It handles well too, for being just a more on the basic side. We do have the upgraded brakes, which is nice, but just a normal suspension setup. But it seems to handle very well around the turns that I've been able to do today, just as far as its overall ride quality is, as well. And there's not a whole lot. It's There's a lot of technology, not a whole lot of buttons. So we do have a lot more in the screen there. Uh, that's something that I've seen in previous comments. It's kind of 50-50 on whether you like it or don't like it. Uh, but I think it's a nice design for the inside of this car. And there's a good bit of space too. So if you're looking for a family sedan, you don't want something that's too big. This is a good option to go with because you can still fit car seats in the back. I've had friends with three series that have made them work as a family style vehicle. So if you want something a little bit more on that smaller side, maybe something better for, better for city driving or even just you know doing a turnaround like this, it's not a big vehicle. So it makes doing a turn like this relatively easy. And you can also opt for the 360 camera system so you can get the camera up front, which this is missing. Uh, so just if you need a little bit more of a bird's eye view, you can do that. But it's definitely a great option to go with. We'll do another acceleration here real quick as we pass another 3.30. And we can get back up to speed and then on the brakes as needed. But that is going to wrap it up for the 2024 BMW 330i. Once again, a huge shout out to Hendrick BMW Charlotte for providing this for me today. Take a look at their website. That link is down below. Give the video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. I will see you all in the next video.